so this time I'm going to show you how to fix audio that you might have recorded in a phone interview that isn't properly formatted to be stereo audio with two channels. So let's start from, from basics. If you come to File, Import, File, you just need to find where this lovely, fantastic phone interview is. So if, here's the one that I have chosen. If you give it a second to import and then you drag it onto the track, you are going to notice as soon as it transcribes, now that you can see, this has A, the wave channels in the audio forms are very, very small. That means it's very quiet audio. And if we play it out, you can barely hear it. But you can also notice that it has one channel with waveforms, the other one has nothing. And as we play it out, pay attention to these bars down here. You're only getting sound through one channel. Now that's very worrying because once you put that through our playout machine in the radio or if you incorporate it into a package, you are going to notice a difference in the sound quality and it'll completely mess up how professional and lovely your package can sound. So if you select the file and you double click it to go into the file, you see that now we've kind of zoomed in to the waveforms. You can see that they're still really small and if I hover over it, you can still only see peaking down here one channel. Now the way to do this is, this particular file has been recorded as a stereo file because you have two channels, but it only has information in one. So first we need to make it into mono, then make it back into stereo. Okay, so if you come up to here to favorites, click convert to mono, it'll take it a second, and now you see how it's unified both waveforms into one. Now we come back, favorites, convert to stereo, and voila, now we have two channels. What happened though? Because it's processed, it loses a bit of volume, and you can see these waveforms are even smaller than they were before. But if you scroll now, you can see that you have information in both channels down here, and it's peaking in your levels. Now, we can fix it. So if you come to Effects, Amplitude and Compression, and Normalize, Normalizing is a very useful tool because it helps um, Audition to recognize the sound, it makes it, and it brings it up to normal levels. So if you click it and you say yes, give it a second, and now you can see how it's transformed our lovely tiny audio into beautiful, gorgeous, proper sound waves. And if we play it out, Hello. now you can actually Hello. hear it. Hello, um, this is Amy. There you go. You can also use the normalize to, to fix really quiet audio, but I'll show you how to do that in another video as well. Now if you come back to your multi-track editor, you can see how now you have sound in both channels, lovely, gorgeous, beautiful sound waves that you can edit with, and now you're ready to go. See you soon.